So we begin with the Warriors, Mm -hmm. with what is one of the most beautiful shots in film history, I argue. Mm. Mm -hmm. That opening shot of the Wonder Wheel Mm -hmm. in the night, neon pink, Mm -hmm. slowly turning. It looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. Followed by one of the best openings mm-hmm. in film history. We yep. meet all of the warriors. Mm-hmm. They lay out what the mo- what the actual beginning of the movie is about. They're mm-hmm. going to a meeting where this this mysterious Cyrus, Cyrus, you know, the lead guy for I believe it's the Warriors, right? The Griffs. Is it the Griffs? Okay, I've the been... biggest. He's they the never leader, say he's the leader. He's the biggest leader of the biggest gang in yeah. the city. Yeah, and he he's got something to say, and he's like, mm-hmm. hey, "What have you heard about this Cyrus?" And all, yeah. like all someone can come up with, I think Kochi says magic. Yeah, a whole lot of magic, and then and then they they're referencing like, okay, well, there's nine nine members from every gang, no weapons, going. no weapons. Uh, the idea is a peaceful, yeah. peaceful sort of meeting. Nobody messes with anyone. It's supposed to be peaceful. Just let it go, kind of thing. And then they're taking course, the train, and mm-hmm. I like it. We actually get Rembrandt following along, yes. the path that they'll eventually have to go backwards on. On yeah, because they don't know the subway system because. They they reference it here is that apparently the subway system in New York is confusing as all hell. Mm-hmm. Um, so they don't even because they've never ventured out of Coney Island because so you're that's other that's gangs your turf, yeah. You know, and you just don't do it. So they don't know how to get to um, was it Battery Park? Either that or Central Park, yeah. like right dead center. It's yeah. far, uh, about yeah. fifty miles from home. They think they said. Mm-hmm. Which on foot is a lot. Yeah. Um, so they're trying to figure out how to do it. And they, he's literally excited. He's like, I figured it out. <laughs> like, ah, that's great. Yeah. And then they're... and then uh, They're goofing around with each other. We see a ton of other gangs that we'll, we won't really see for the rest of the film. I want to know about that pimp gang. There's a pimp gang. There's a pimp gang. I want to There's know about that. There's a gang that. of mimes that aren't the baseball theories. No. They're literally just mimes in top hats and red outfits. Mm-hmm. There's just ra- There's random, just regular dudes in vests. Yeah. I do like there was the one gang. Mm. That was paying? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, most of them were actually paying to get on the like subway. one guy had a fistful of tokens. Yeah, and he was, he was just okay, paying for all his boys go, to get go, in. You go, like, that's the only time you see someone pay for the subway. In Not true. Movie. All of them did. To get there. To get there. To get back, not so much. Yeah. But to get there, everyone was paying. I'm like, oh, this is a real peaceful meeting. We're not going to see this again. But it also is weird because it, later on in the movie, no one bothers to try and stop you. Because I've seen it on our transit in the TTC. I've seen people try to jump the turnstile and I've seen a lot of security try My to stop them. My guess is that New York is so massive and it's open, I think, all night. Yeah. That there's eventually a time when there's just no take-a-taker and mm-hmm. they just go, go nuts, guys, whatever. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the other thing. I guess it is open all night because, yeah, they were getting on the subway at any, like any hour of the night. four in the morning. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we uh, the music in this whole film is great. Mm-hmm. But, like, this, the score, this, um, like, dirty well, it was the, synth It's the music rock. you sort of heard uh, in the in my intro. Um, I have mostly dialogue over it, but the music is, that is the intro music. It is really there's good. there's a lot of, like, dirty mm-hmm. rock, but then you get, like, da 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 little synth in there. It is literally leading right into new wave music in the 80s. That's literally, this is the bridge gap. You can hear it. And we cut, like, smash cut to the meeting. Mm-hmm. And this park is just full of fucking yeah. people. There are hundreds. The idea is a, it's 900. Yeah, there's 900 people. Because yeah. there's, there's a... Nine members of each gang. And, and it's, and it's like not even... Not, and Cyrus even says in his speech, this isn't even every gang in the yeah. city. There's gangs that aren't at this meeting. Mm-hmm. Together, we are 100,000 strong mm-hmm. with affiliates and outside gangs mm-hmm. and everyone here. Yeah. And there's not but 60,000 cops in the whole damn town. Yeah, it's like, we outnumber them, so fuck them. You know, I love it. We could, the city is ours. Yeah. If you can count. Uh-huh. Which is a great line. A fantastic line. There's a, the, the, it's like, we all fight for our turf. Mm-hmm. Our little bit of turf. This speech... Is so good. Is so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> like, beginning the Wonder Wheel shot to yeah. the subway to get to the meeting, to the actual meeting itself, mm-hmm. the first act of this film mm-hmm. is perfect. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there is no way to make this better. Like, everything in it, and we're not even done with the perfect yet, by the way. Um, like, he's making so much sense. Yeah. And all the gangs are like, and even like, look... We have mm-hmm. this gang next to this gang, this gang next to this yeah, gang. Yeah, and no one's doing anything No one's because wasting nobody. We can. Like, we're the ones who are stopping us from being the, the source, so let's not do that. And 
so the speech is going on, and then like everybody's fucking excited, and he's There's got a lot it of down. nodding and like yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, this yeah, is yeah, making a lot point. of fucking sense. And then cut to what's the name of the gang? The rogues. The rogues um, passing a gun, which uh, which isn't allowed. Which no, was no, no one was allowed. supposed to have a weapon, so they're passing a gun. And then we do miss the can you dig it? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Every time well, he would finish a sentence, can you dig it? It was in the intro. Yeah. Don't worry, they all but, heard it. Like, trust me, everyone knows. Can you dig it? Is I'm that pretty where sure Booker that's the most... got that from. Yes. Okay. Just I mean, I would it. bet money. Just covering. I mean, it. I would like to ask him, but how the hell else are you gonna do? So that? they sneak a gun in, mm-hmm. and how Fox is the only one on camera mm-hmm. that we know of. Later, we find out in the yeah. film, other people saw Luther. Yeah. How did no one else see this guy pointing a gun straight up? My guess is because he had it wasn't a big gun, so he had to be real close to get him. Yeah, it was. It's really weird because there would be a lot of people around him. Well, the griffs, the griffs were yeah. like two, two. Think there were more than nine griffs covering yeah. Cyrus. Like, yeah, they were covering him at all at all corners. So like, mm-hmm. you gotta imagine there's eyes on you. Every... Would, you would think that they would be like, yeah, I know we said no weapons, but. These guys aren't exactly, you know, respectful. So, let's have somebody watching yeah. something. Um, and then, of course, you know, one shot, one shot, takes. and that's it. And we're boom, done here. yeah. The shot is beautiful. Like mm-hmm. it goes slow mo. Him like slowly falling off the platform. He's standing mm-hmm. on, hitting the ground. The cops who were creeping up while he was talking mm-hmm. in their cars, like stealthily, yeah. like, driving it's like, their cars. What are you assholes gonna do? There's a lot of these people. Then the floodlights come on, mm-hmm. cop storm, there's just basically a riot. Yeah, and this is where, you know, this is where the rogues basically are just like, it was them, it was the warriors, see- I saw them. Because he sees Swan's- Fox. Was it Fox? It was no, Fox. it was Fox, right, yeah. Fox saw him with the gun, so he knows. So he's just like, it was the warriors, the warriors, the the warriors, warriors did, did it. it. And no, then he- like, and he grabbed his buddy and it's just like, right, you saw him? He's like, yeah, I saw him. Like, yeah, his friend's and then he goes, the guy And out. then he goes charging at Cleon, mm-hmm. like, the warrior, the war Gets destroyed mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. housed and then he's like we didn't do nothing yeah like but nobody's gonna but nobody listen believes him the griffs kill cleon mm-hmm. they literally kick him to death yeah kick an elbow him yep. just to death just dead so that's i guess another reason why there's unfortunate that their the opening was changed because yeah. you see cleon at the opening of this film yeah that's it yeah. the leader of this gang yeah. is dead in the first 15 20 minutes of mm-hmm. this movie but I mean, it, it it there. I mean, as much as unfortunate, it actually did help later on with you know the the power struggle, specifically between Ajax and Swan, because you know. Well, that happens right now. So they yeah. find each other in the group in the in the amongst the chaos. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's Cochise or Ajax just punches a hole through a fence. Yeah. They all climb through. Mm-hmm. They run through a graveyard, and then they all hide amongst the tombstones. Yeah. As the cops are like. Doing everything they doing can, a sweep like all to the get gangs to, are running to, to out, scoop and, up gang members, yeah. and then so they're like, like well, "Let's go, we got to go to the subway." And he's and like, I, "Well, who who made you in charge?" And it's like, "Well, I'm the second in command, so that seems about right." <laughs> the rest of the gang's yeah. like, "He's war chief." Yeah. So, so there's your answer. Can second, we move on? Second man on the totem, but Ajax but, is this hothead. He yeah. Was, like, no, I want to be leader. Yeah. You want to like, fight about this right now? Yeah. It's like I think we should get back to Coney Island, then we'll figure it out. And he just, and he won't, eat, he's not having it. He's like, no, we'll, no, we'll figure that out. He's like, I, I, there's so many times in this movie where I want to shake them and go, you realize you're running for your life, right? Specifically Ajax, because he's the only one who doesn't seem to understand what's going on. And it just, it, it annoys the crap well, out he's of just me. But that's head, the point, right? right? Um, so they eventually move on to the subway, because mm-hmm. it's like, we got to get back home. Yeah. And I always, I always state that this movie would be so much easier if they just took a cab. But there are no cabs. Well, there, there, there literally are no cabs in this movie. The only cars you see in this yeah. film are cop cars. Or gang cars. Or gang cars. But, I'm like, that doesn't seem right. But, you Which, know. I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. they're going through nothing but back side streets. So yeah. I'm like, but again, these are also people who won't take their fucking gang clothes off. Yeah. Because they're like, this is all that matters. Like, yeah, okay, I understand. If you're wearing a fucking gang colors and shit, cabs are not going to pick you up. No. You're getting in your own way. That's all it is. But anyway. Um, so the riffs put a bounty on the warriors. Mm-hmm. And the way they do this is give out... There's a DJ mm-hmm. on a radio station that, mm-hmm. from what I gathered, every gang listens to this station. I guess, yeah. Because she's like... And all you see are her lips. Mm-hmm. 
and I think the actress is the woman from Carmen San Diego. Yes, she's the chief. Yes, um, <laughs> unfortunately, she passed away a few years. Oh, back. that's unfortunate. Yeah, but that is that is absolutely who it is. And it, every shot's great because it's mm-hmm. literally just her lips, it's yes. her mouth, and I'm like, that's that's mm-hmm. great. Um, and she plays a song of like nowhere to run to. Yeah, like to hide. it's it's she, a message to the every gang. song like, she plays is a message to specifically mostly the warriors, yeah. and it's it's insanely well done. So the first gang we see getting into the Warriors' way are the Turnbull ACs. Yes. A bunch of skinheads. Yeah. Which is weird because they have black members. Yeah. So they're skinheads, but they're not racist skinheads. Yeah. They're just skinheads, which is oddly charming. I, guess, I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if charming's the word. It's weird, but, but weird. I don't, I, I'll find it kind of charming. I don't know why. So they're hiding in like, yeah. it's another beautiful shot of them mm-hmm. hiding in the dark. And yeah. And you only see them lit through police lights. Yeah. And they see the Turnbull ACs drive by. Well, because they're, they're waiting for the subway. Because they're right below, like, a subway platform. Yeah, yeah, they're waiting for it to appear. They're waiting for it to show up. Cause because they don't they, want to get jumped on yeah, the platform. Yeah, and they basically, they literally mention that. as like, if we go up there, we're just standing there waiting. Like, we'll be in the way. They can see us. So they're waiting down there to see when the train comes. Because, um, again, I'm guessing. Although, it seems like storyline-wise, the trains stay or leave, depending on what the story needs. Because right. This train stayed there for a long ass time, but, and then took off right. Yeah, at the and right then time. another one later on is only there for like half a second. Yeah. So well, it's depending on what the story needs, but whatever. Shut up, it's a movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of that. So they're like literally waiting, and then they see the Turnbulls coming, and they don't see them because they're in the shadows. And then the train starts coming. They're like, "Well, fuck, we gotta go. We, we gotta go, or we're gonna miss." Well, this they're train. mad because they thought they drew, but they turned yeah, around. They so turn they're around like, and well, like, "We gotta shit. run." Yeah. So, so like, they gotta go. outrun a truck. Which, no, but okay. Shut up, it's a movie. I do like that the, <laughs> at the back of the pack is yeah. Ajax, yeah. and he just periodically turns back and flips them yeah. off as he's running. He literally almost misses the train because he has to stop and flip them off. Because he's like, because they're all like halfway up the stairs when he turns around at the bottom of the stairs to give him the finger. They almost hit him with a bat, and then he runs up the, up the stairs, and they literally are holding the door waiting for him because he had to flip them off. Yep. Ajax deserves what happens to him. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So, okay, all the way to Union Square. Yep. Nope. Nope. Fire. Yeah. And I like the fact that it's never explicitly explained how the fire But I happened. also like that they, they, imply, they say... Yeah, they imply yeah. going like, yeah, I'd like to know who set that fire. Mm-hmm. Because they have a feeling like... Yeah. They don't. They don't realize that they're being. They're actually being chased. Mm-hmm. Like they are being targeted by every gang mm-hmm. until way later in the movie. But yeah. there are some gang members that are piecing things together. Like, hmm, yeah, this know. doesn't seem quite right. So we get the rogues, mm-hmm. and we get what will be Luther's crazy ass performance. <laughs> yes, where he's talking on the phone to somebody, and mm-hmm. it's never specified who he's talking to. No, he's talking to somebody on the phone two or three times in this movie. And it's just, he talks about how we, yeah, we have to get the Warriors. I don't know if he's talking to other rogues. My guess is it's the head rogue, because I don't think he is. He's not the, you don't think I he's don't the leader? I don't think he is. No, I don't think mm. he is. Because you got to remember, he's a little too nuts right. to be a head. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have a brain in his head. He's all brawn. I don't so, know. In the credits, he's, he's, he, it says he's the warlord for the rogues. Yeah, but I don't, so. I don't think so. I mean, I know the credits will say that, but who fucking knows who wrote the credits? Because sometimes the credits are wrong. But... I don't know. Well, he's the leader just, of this group. So. Yeah, he's the leader of this little group, but I don't know. Maybe, or maybe the, you know how they said that there's affiliates. Yeah. Maybe he's talking to whatever, like, maybe they're an affiliate of some other gang. Yeah. So he, you know, he, he takes a thing from a store and the mm-hmm. ones are going to pay for that. No. Pay for what? Yeah. And it like, um, throws it back at her and know. gets in the car. The chocolate bar you just ate? Take off. Right. So the second gang mm-hmm. that the Warriors run up on are the Orphans. Which I think they say they're so low on the totem pole that they're not even on the thing. Yeah, just... and they were not at the meeting. Yeah, they were not at the meeting. They have no idea what's going on. They are not, I guess they don't listen to the radio station because they're not like, oh, the Warriors did something bad. They yeah. have no idea. They're just like, we don't want the Warriors here. So their warlord, Sully, mm-hmm. has a talk with the Swan. Mm-hmm. Like Swan pep talks to, and he the starts. Uh, he starts up like, yeah. "What are you doing on our turf? What do yeah. you mean there was a meeting? How could it be a meeting? The orphans weren't there. If the orphans aren't there. There's no meeting." Yeah, and Swan is is placating him, yeah. like he's playing him like a goddamn fiddle. He's like, "You're absolutely right. Like, the, you know, like, oh yeah, the orphans. You're, yeah, you're, you guys are so we've badass. Heard. We've never, you know, we we would never come in here because we're afraid of you. Like, 
he's buttering him up like he was a piece of toast, and I'm like, and it's working. Oh, he buddy, he's just like, okay, well, you, you can, can walk, you through. can walk through, but you got to take your colors off. No, 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 not you yet. You can walk oh, yeah. through, right? Then Mercy comes down. Just, oh, god damn it, she just ruins everything, and she just says, "You little bitch." 